Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Vasa. And thank you for the embassy for the opportunity to uh, send you a greeting also 26 days before uh, COP in, in Glasgow. How are we working with uh, climate change issues in Vasa? We have a lot of activities going on. We are focusing on lowering the carbon in our buildings. We are focusing on energy efficiency in buildings and in many other sectors in our society. We also are taking into use uh, various data platforms which, uh, with which we can uh, lead the green transition with both knowledge and with AI. Um, we also have a unique way of co-creating a sustainable future in Vasa, together with our universities, together with our businesses, with other authorities. Um, I think um, the Energy Vasa cluster, which consists of over 160 companies in the energy technology sector, is a great backbone for this. And in that way, we are not only focusing on our carbon footprint in Vasa, we are also focusing on a much bigger handprint in uh, the green transition globally. We, some examples of what we are doing is, for example, we have um, our local buses are all running on biogas that comes from our waste. We have uh, just taken into use Aurora Botnia, which is the most environmentally friendly car and uh, passenger ferry in the whole world and states an excellent example of how you can decarbonize shipping, how you can decarbonize the marine industry. We also are enabling uh, the use of uh, uh, or the production of green batteries. And there we are now partnering up with, for example, Johnson Matthey, and we are very proud of this work that uh, the results will be seen in, in the coming years. But maybe more important question is why we are working with climate issues in, in municipalities and here in Vasa. Our city council set a strategic goal to be carbon neutral by the end of this decade. And of course, everyone has read the IPCC report and that states that we need actions yesterday. And we have done a lot. In Vasa, for example, we have cut our greenhouse gas emissions with over 50% in the uh, past 10 years. But we need a lot more activities. The second reason is, of course, that um, the green transition offers great business opportunities for our companies, for our energy tech cluster. And in doing that, it also creates a lot of new jobs. So we have a win-win situation in this. We have to do this work, but we also see great opportunities in it. I hope you and, and everyone in the conference also sees the opportunities in this work that has to be done. Thank you.